I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. Sometimes it can take a little time to figure out what you're going to do with all those tiles. This is why I like to practice with Siamese sprints. Force yourself to make quick decisions, especially if you want to play online, because you have to discard within two minutes or the game will discard a tile for you. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, five, pung, six, seven, eight, nine. We have all the dots. Pair, pung, one, three, five, seven, nine. We have a pair of Norse dragons, one, six, nine, two, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, and odds. Let's see, north one. I think I would let the winds and dragons go. Maybe we could play that con consecutive year hand and then something here, maybe dragons, discards, joker bait, lap. Okay, maybe the consecutive pair hand. Let's see, we need seven numbers in a range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Somewhere that would use these multiples. We wouldn't need that pung. As a plan B, we could do one, three, five, seven, nine. And then down here, six, seven, eight, dragon. That uses all but one multiple. Oh no, here's another one, north. So I would hold these to see what happens. If our opponent discards wins, we can let those go right away. Otherwise, hold these to see if maybe we could get a joker there. If you want to know more about that strategy, look for links in the video description below. If you would have done something different with these tiles, write Sprint 1 and what you would have done. Jokers, dra uh, dragons, flower, east. One, two, three, four, nine. Pairs, four, nine. One, three, five, six, seven, nine. In bams, three, five, six, eight. Three dot pung. I think I would force a quint. Force a quint here. And then build around multiples, either fours or nines. Three, three, five, three, four, five. Or seven eight six seven eight nine six seven eight nine or two three one two three four three five five six eight nine I think joker bait I think I'd stick with little numbers let's lap okay so I would play a quint with these jokers so these would go away, joker bait. Here we have one, two, three, four, one, three, five, five, pair of fours. I'd focus on the fours. You know what we could do is 
use these up here and play, let's see, maybe three, four with flowers and use the nines for the quint. I'd wait and see. This looks stronger, but I would play something with little numbers. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint two and what you would do. Oh, you know what? I just thought four, five, six. Maybe keep that. Mix suit Kongs. One, six, eight, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, pair two, jokers, flowers, almost news, dragon, one, two, three, four, six, seven. So two, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six. I'd play a two, four, six, eight hand, probably. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. Let's see what's left over. Two, four, six, eight, maybe the pair hand or concealed. And we have three, seven, three, seven, one, six. Oh, here's more evens and a nine. One, three, seven, like, like numbers with threes or sevens. Maybe the concealed hand lap. So I would do probably like numbers with sevens and wins some kind of a wind hand maybe since we don't have multiples there. I mean, we could even do ones and nines. Look at that. Lots of like numbers here. So I think I would just gather and see where the like numbers come in. Uh, let's see, we have one, three, and seven, nine, lack of fives. I'd keep an eye on fives. Down here though, maybe the two, four, six, eight pair hand. Pair, single, single, pair. We need to build here. We need an eight crack or those tiles in the bams. That looks promising though. Or we could maybe do the concealed even hand. If these were your tiles, let me know if you would do something differently. Write sprint three and what you would do. Let's see how things went with time. If you're new to Siamese Mahjong, give yourself four minutes to make decisions. If you're an intermediate player, three minutes. If you are experienced, give yourself two minutes. If you can get to that threshold, you can play online comfortably or maybe even play in a tournament. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.